Hello, everyone. It's Tuesday. You know what that means. Yes, more Dark Souls. And last time, we killed Quelag after helping someone else kill Quelag, so that was nice. Or, well, we helped a little bit. I died. <laughs> But, um, hopefully, uh, the person that I was, um, summoned to, uh, was, um, successful in killing Quelag. Otherwise, I would feel very, very terrible. And, I think, after one of the most serious bosses, at least, again, for me, for me, because a lot of people seem to be able to get through that with no issue, but... Yeah, the first time around, I had a lot of trouble with Quelag. So, let me show you the uh, joke boss of the game. I think this is the one. There's a gimmick boss later on, but right now we're going to kill the joke boss. You see those uh, tendrils slash tentacles slash wobbly pointy things up in the distance? That's what we're gonna kill. We just have to bob and weave our way through the uh, dudes with the eggs. Careful about them. And one of them's already spotted me, so I'm going to make a right right here. Go around there. Hopefully not get touched by any of them, because I really don't want to get the parasite just because it's a bit of a pain in the butt to get rid of. You need some very specific items. And uh, down there, that thing you see on the wall there, that too is a boss. It's another terrible, terrible uh, boss that uh, you're expected to fight while down in the lava. It's, it's an annoying one. Although, if you cut its tail off, and you kind of have to cut its tail off, um, you'll be able to get his, um, uh, well, the ring. The, his tail gives, or its tail gives you a ring. And that ring le lets you traverse lava while taking only minimal damage. Very important. Secret? No, it's not a secret. You just got lucky and landed on it. <laughs> How does this one say? Try jumping. Your mom tried jumping. No. <laughs> it's not the ring of ham, it's the charred orange ring, I think. Ghost. Be wary of strange creature. Try attacking. Yeah, no. So, it's a fog door. So it's a boss, right? And the fog door stays, which means you are now in the boss arena. But there's no boss health bar. There's no, um... Like, ominous music. I actually don't remember if you can get out. No, you can't. Okay. You can technically get out. Um... But... You just have to quit out of the game and load back in, and it'll spawn you right outside, uh, right outside the uh, fog gate. But since it is a boss arena, let's go and find, or find, uh, the boss. That person there just got hit. I'm guessing by the boss. A lot of people die on those stairs there, so there is indeed a boss fight around here somewhere. Oh, look! <laughs> and the only uh, perspective uh, trickery that's happening here is making it look smaller, because that thing is huge! <laughs> that's its mouth with its one lonely tooth, a bunch of eyes, a mangled body, and those tentacles that we saw off in the distance. <laughs> Seriously, uh, that thing is huge. Huge. <laughs> but it seems otherwise peaceful, right? Amazing trap ahead. Uh huh. Be wary of item. Oh, 
It's not the item you have to be wary of. Mm. Yep, he didn't like that. <laughs> He tried to take a swing at me, but he missed. <laughs> and uh, you can kill uh, that boss legitimately. You absolutely can. It's, um, it's a thing that some people like to do. I think like is a strong word. They do it because it's like, oh no, you can kill him the joke way, or you can just, you know, try to kill him legitimately. Well. We've run all the way back to the, um, thing, and... <gasps> oh. But now he's stuck. Oh well, in that case... Good... Bye. That doesn't feel particularly satisfying. <laughs> at all <laughs> but you know a little bit of clever game design they tied that particular boss to the lava or most of the lava down there so once you kill him you can then traverse that bit of the terrain so and you kind of need to do that uh, in order to finish the game so a little bit of clever game design they made it so it's a slash optional boss fight, sorta kinda maybe. You can technically get around him and the whole lava bit down there and just go around after you unlock the um, thing later on in the game. But yeah, no, that 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 was uh, that was a joke boss, uh, or as a lot of people call it, free twenty thousand souls. <laughs> Oh, you noticed that uh, little climb there too, Katana, huh? <laughs> so, free 20,000 souls. That guy was trying to intercept me. Very clever of him. And uh, now, we can technically go down here. But as you can see, off in the distance. Well, first of all, someone dropped an item and left it there. So now there's one of those monsters there. And uh, those... Do you remember the, um, the second... Technically not a boss that has a boss health bar? The Taurus demon that we fought uh, upon the ramparts? There's seven of them. Just chilling here. And there's a few more uh, down there. I'm not going to fight them. He says. Hope, hopefully, I won't trigger the aggro on any of them. The hello, Jill. And uh, not only those, but you remember the second boss, actual boss we fought, the Capra Demon. Yeah, if you look out in the distance past the uh, little weird thingy that's shooting missiles at me. Okay. <laughs> Didn't trigger. A huge manatee. <laughs> yep, that's a Capra demon. Taurus demons? Capra demons. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um, this is an indication, it's like, oh yeah, those bosses you fought? Now they're just regular enemies. Congratulations, you're in the late game, bitch. <laughs> Come on, Capra Demon. I know you want me. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> One hit stagger. Oh, looks like I only got the one. Oh god, that was stupid of me.
You're going to have to bait an attack and then heal. You die. <laughs> yeah, no. They're just as strong as the actual boss capper demon. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those transparent crab things, uh, they show up when um, people drop items in someone else's world. And those items then get corrupted and get turned into those things that drop humanities. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now I don't want to go all the way down here, mostly because um, you see that yellow patch next to the lava, like to the left of the lava. That's an actual um, barrier that's in your way deliberately, so you can't make progress until you have acquired that thing later on. <laughs> but. I came here, and look, two Capra Demons, two Capra Demons, one Capra Demon, that uh, totals six dicks. <laughs> and over there is that um, stupid little bug thing that we have to kill that I will probably take some time off stream to try and chop off its tail from here by taking pot shots at its tail, or from down there uh, near the uh, bonfire. Because yes, there is a bonfire down there. Which is also a dick to get to, but... I just want to trigger... a certain someone's invasion. I don't want to fight the Capra Demons. Why isn't he invading me? <laughs> Come on, Kirk! <laughs> The Knight of Spikes, I already have your sword. And maybe your shield too, I don't remember. But at least your sword, I totally have that. And I want you to invade me without me having to fight the Capra Demons. And he's not invading me. I know he spawns around here somewhere, but the aggro range on the Capra Demons is also a bitch. Come on, show me the invasion, please. Invade. God damn it, Kirk! <laughs> okay, that one saw me. Not enough to trigger aggro, but it saw me. <laughs> And we have ourselves a bold person that's gonna go and fight the Capra Demons. Good for him. Uh. Well, I think Kirk is being a dick, unless you actually have to go down there and trigger them for him to invade you. But I don't wanna. I really don't wanna. Another time, then. This was just a dead end, and I was just trying to trigger his invasion here. There is another place that he invades us. I don't remember exactly where, but... Oh yeah, it's uh, after this bit. After you have the uh, Lord Vessel. Oh, uh, that might be the thing that triggers the invasion, actually. He might not invade right now. Okay. Legit. Totally fair. Gotcha. In any case... I'm gonna um, just gonna go back. Just gonna take some walking. But we rang the second bell of awakening, so maybe, just maybe, we should uh, try and make our way to the well, to where we first landed here in Lordran. Firelink Shrine, which. If you're not paying attention to the geometry, you might think, that's a frickin' long way away. Well, it's probably not as far as you think. But, we have to get there first. Let's see, 
avoid that one because he wants a tango. And I don't wanna. Really don't wanna. <laughs> The annoying bit about the parasite is that you can't wear helmets. I don't even mind the uh, soul consumption that comes with it. That, that's absolutely fine. It's the... Uh, my legs are twitching. <laughs> it's the um, not being able to wear a helmet after a certain point. But we did get a free 20,000 souls-ish. So, let's see, some damage and some extra equipment carrying ability. So, that's good. I'm still going to sit at the other bon uh, bonfire shrine thing. Yes. <laughs> Just because that one has a firekeeper, the pale lady. And, uh, as the story tells us, the Pale Lady is, as her spidery body would indicate, and, you know, nakedness from the torso, uh, she's Quilag's sister. Never actually given a proper name, and you can't really understand her unless you have the ring. Is it the ring or the pendant? Old witch's pendant ring? You have to have it. Otherwise, you cannot hear her at all. The... And they were fire witches from Isolith. I oh, almost said Isolith there, but no, it's Isolith. Um, which you actually see the uh, fire witch of Isolith. Um, in the intro cutscene. She is uh, the one surrounded by fire. And I'm guessing, it's not really made clear, but those uh, smaller witches around her at the time were probably, one of them was Quilag, the other one was the Pale Lady, and the other one, well, we might run into her on the way. Let's uh, leave my summoning sign here in case someone needs help fighting Quilag. I'm sure we'll get far enough away that it just disappears before anyone does, but hey! Maybe this person will ask for my help. That little ghost that we just crossed. <laughs> okay, back into the poisonous swamp. Ah, she is there. I knew that getting invaded by gankers was probably a good idea. You may not have seen her, but there is a uh, character. Ah, you can sort of see her now. See there? On that pillar? There's a character there. A character clad in the same robes that we just stole from um, the Ceaseless Discharge. The... Uh, there it is. Gold hem black robes. Oh, yes. And I'm going to try and walk around and get poison, obviously. But I'd rather just fight the uh, fire bugs here rather than the big boulder holding people over there. But we shall make it. And I just have to wait for this bug to um, make its way over here, so I can put my knife through it. And they just, they keep respawning. How annoying. How uncouth. Which is a word that is used in this game. <laughs> that hit me a little bit, but that's fine. Oh, God damn it! stop respawning. <laughs> they don't respawn forever. They, they just respawn a lot. And since most, uh, most of the uh, damage that they deal is just poison, not much in the way of um, physical damage, uh, since I'm already poisoned, that's not doing much. Okay. 
And I also get a little bit of HP back from them because of the ring of the evil eye. Oh, they finally stopped respawning. Oh, look at that. It's like, ooh, I'm the last of my kind. Goodbye. My planet needs me. <laughs> In any case. Since it might not be coming back for a while, I'm going to heal my poison there and talk to the person. Hmm. A mere undead. Yet you can see me. Fascinating. There's a reason she says that. I am Quailana of Isolith. I am not Quailana of Isolith. <laughs> you have a gift. Are you too one who seeks my pyromancy? Like Salomon? I am. Yes, of course. It should be expected. Very well. You shall be my pupil. But that you was easy. <laughs> You must give something up. Are you prepared to do this? What? Souls? I have to give you souls in order to buy your pyromancies? That seems fair. <laughs> Anywho, she does sell very unique um, pyromancies, namely Firestorm, which is very, very, very powerful. Great Fireball is also very powerful. But yeah, the, the Firestorm is like... Of the one, if you're going to be a pyromancer, you kind of want it. But I'm actually going to buy uh, the combustions. And I don't remember if there's the pyromancy that makes your sword ablaze in this game. But that's usually one that I always take in the Dark Souls because it's like, ooh, free buffing spell. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, I'm being summoned. Now go. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go then. <laughs> Knight Samuel. Hello, Knight Samuel. <laughs> Let me see if I can help you with this boss. He's got really nice armor. I want that armor. <laughs> Oh, well, he's already tried this fight once and didn't do too good. Because the intro cutscene didn't trigger. So, that's how we know he's already had a chance and botched it. <laughs> Ooh, the lag. <laughs> Don't get under its legs. <laughs> that's when it that's when she does the explosion thing. That one is easy enough to dodge. He says, after taking some damage. I said don't get under its legs. <laughs> you need to get out of there. <laughs> Yeah, come at me. <laughs> no, he seems to like the um, the host a lot. I thought she was gonna swing for me, but no, no, no. She turned around at the very last moment. Come here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Do not jump on the summon. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> And we shall praise the sun! <laughs> and we're out. Goodbye, Knight Samuel. Good luck. <laughs> Jolly cooperation. This is what it's all about. And of course, since I am a sun bro, I get a sunlight medal. And when I hand in 30 of them to the shrine, 
Ooh, and I also got like 10,000 souls. That means I could buy more pyromancies. Yes. <laughs> I could even buy the fire orb. Or the fire whip. Undead rapport. Let's see what the undead rapport does for us. Um, the living are lured by flame, and this relationship is part and parcel to the art of pyromancy. Can be used by either gender. Oh, great. <laughs> Advanced Pyromancy. Uh, charm Undead and gain temporary allies. Oh, you can literally take control of an undead. Alright. Yes, I beat the Volcanic Spider. With a topless lady. <laughs> Anywho. We can... Let's see. Fire Whip is 10,000. The Fire Orb is 8,000. So I can buy the Fire Orb and the Fireball. I shall do that then. Alright, that's quite a few pyromancies right off the bat. Long ago, I accepted another pupil over 200 years ago. There was a man almost as bungling as you. Bungling? In the world. <laughs> he was called Saloman, the master pyromancer. The little rascal really made something of himself. Oh, she taught Saloman himself. <laughs> pyromancy is the art of invoking and manipulating fire. But remember one thing always fear the flame lest you be devoured by it and lose yourself. I would hate to see that happen again. Ah, dropping hints. Pyromancy is <laughs> yes, so uh, despite now, us uh, having killed one of her sisters time. already, uh, she doesn't tell us the rest until we get the Lord Vessel. And then she goes, oh, can you please go and kill my mother? <laughs> mother! Right, you die. And we go up these stairs and up the very, very flaky contraption. I just want to cure this poison because that gets on my nerves. Okay. So, a rickety contraption with a blood stain on it because ominous Bloop. it's an elevator <laughs> and the physics are a bit shit on this elevator but whatevs once we're here we just drop off and we're back at the top ish part of uh, blight town which is good because we do want to go back up but, this is not the uh, same side that we came down. That was uh, over there, somewhere. So, now we have to keep finding our way up. Hopefully without dying. Because that would set us back quite a long ways. Do not breathe flame on me. Oh, hello, Mr. Bloodbug. It shoots poison at me. Oh, and there's one of those um, poison dart fellas somewhere. I hear him breathing into his thing. I think he's upstairs. Let's go up the up this ladder here and put an end to him quickly. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> Always blending in with the dark, these assholes. Oh, hello. No. Okay, so with this helmet, I can survive more than one of those darts before getting toxic. Which is good, because I'm about to get hit with a bunch of them. And I got hit by one very, very, very stupidly. <laughs> I'm toxic now, <laughs> so there's that, and I'm not going to heal because otherwise I'll just get toxi toxic again. Well, I will have to he heal proper, otherwise I'll die, but I won't cure the toxicity of our city, of our city. Goodbye. And that one... 
as you can so very clearly tell, <laughs> was on the other ledge. Did he die? No, he didn't. Would have been too easy. Okay, he's dead now. Heal before the dogs come. These dogs. These ginormous dogs. Okay, now I can heal. Cure to the toxicity of my city. Oh, yes. I think I got them all, so. I think this is all of them. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about more uh, toxic darts for a while. And they don't respawn, even after you hit the, um... Bonfire. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's good. That was a fire keeper soul. Which we can give, uh, fire keepers? Well, I could have given it to, um, the pale lady downstairs. If I had had this already, but I hadn't been here yet. So, instead, we're gonna give it to... The um, the one that does the other one that doesn't speak, uh, up in Fireling Shrine. And I shall say no more about it because I would be a spoiler. <laughs> and we're about to get well, not about about, but we're gonna get there soon enough. So. Right, there's more items around here that I would like to get. This should be a safe enough drop, he says. Yes, nice it is. Did lose some health, but nothing terrible. Oh! Managed to get by that relatively unscathed. Oh, hello, physics. Havoc physics. <laughs> Yeah, those things that are big enough on the ground, they don't need to be all over me to, uh, ooh, another new set of armor. Man, I'm getting all the things. <laughs> ooh, two for one. How about that? And what's in this chest? A sorcery remedy. And uh, yes, that, that does cure poison. Very helpful. Except, it's on the exit side. So, yeah. If you do decide to play the game as a sorcerer... Oh, shit! <laughs> I think I'm dead. Uh, there's no way out of here. No! <laughs> God damn, the game, the game gave me a little bit of false hope. It's like, oh, you landed on the wheel. You're still alive. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, well, we're not human anymore. <laughs> right, I hadn't died in a while, so... That's... That'll teach me. Right. Time to haul less back to where my souls were. I'm not going to bother... Um, Kill the bugs, so eh. I helped that dude kill Quelag. I was doing so good, but no, 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 I had to fall off of that stupid thing with the janky physics. <laughs> uh, those are the annoying deaths. And the game that has no shame, it's just like, yep, you will die from that. No chance of recovery, uh, zero a fucking all chance of anything. So, yeah. Janky physics is the whole game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, around the side here. Can't go under this. Up to where that bug is. I'll heal myself with the poison later. I'm too, um, this character is a little bit too dumb to cast sorceries. Not enough intelligence. So I won't be able to use that sorcery that I got. 
and waddling through the poisonous mud is very difficult just to run at a relatively normal speed. It consumes stamina, otherwise you're just walking. Waddling, I suppose, through the mud. And cure the poison, just because the sound is annoying. Yeah, I don't even care about the HP loss so much because it's not a lot. What the sound that's so annoying. Right. That was a gamble. Yeah. Had I died there, I wouldn't have. I would have just landed back on the uh, poisonous mud again. But, yeah, that, um, had I died there, I would have lost my souls. And the physics coming out of that elevator always scare me. <laughs> because guess what happens if you clip through the geometry? You die. <laughs> the game punishes you for triggering the game's own bugs. Well, not those bugs specifically that I just killed, but, you know. I recover lost power. Alright. <laughs> this time without dying. <laughs> okay, I have my 8,000 souls back, and my 12 huge manatees. Which are about to be 11 because I have to turn human again, don't I? <laughs> I have to be invaded and put back in my place once more for good measure <laughs> but yeah no um that character that we met down there Quelana of Isolith she is also one of the fire witches daughter to the um great witch of Isolith I don't know if she's actual if it's her actual mother or if it's just a term that they used to refer to the the queen mother maybe whatever the case um she left isolith and she left isolith and became so powerful that only people who have a pyromancy flame of plus 10 or higher can see her but I don't know if it's a clever bit of game design or just programmer somewhere forgetting to check whether or not the key to the new Londa ruins. Yeah, we're not going there yet, but we will. Um, one of the programmers forgetting to check who actually has the plus 10 um, flame of pyromancy. Because if you get invaded, by say a massive cheater or a ganker that's way too high a level uh, and is just here solely to gank you or to grief you um, they too if they invade you they will uh, spawn Quailana so yeah a little bit of trivia there Yes, you can growl. Can you please come at me? I, I don't want to fight you here because of your friend back there. Alright, eh, fine. <laughs> now it moves. Mm-hmm. I'll give you that one. Ooh, still alive, are we? <laughs> I was about to heal. <laughs> I'm glad I was paying attention. Right. You. Okay, fine. Oh, god damn it. Now there's two of you. That's what I didn't want. I misjudged that. My bad. <laughs> Can one of you fall down the pit, please? No. No such luck for me today, it seems. <laughs> oh wow, they really are coming at me. Um. Okay. Let's 
going to be clever. I died. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fight two at once. <laughs> oh, it's put us back at this bonfire. God damn it. Uh, even the way out of Blight Town is a pain in the butt. Ugh. <laughs> Alright. At least my souls aren't in such a precarious position anymore, so... Not as worried about that. Still going to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> like, yeah, fighting one at a time? Sure, that's fine, that's okay. Fighting two? That, that's very, very precarious. At least until I find a better weapon. Or I upgrade a weapon far enough that it becomes feasible. <sighs> I'm kind of tired of seeing you guys, but I'm still not going to kill you. <laughs> I don't want to get that parasite. Under this bit, around here, over to that fire bug, get poison. And of course I had to attack it while I was still too far away. Annoying! Yeah. Thought that bit of uh, terrain there might be elevated enough to get me off the mire, but doesn't look like it. And you. Uh, let's do the thing. Still have nine, so should be good. <laughs> Please don't die nine more times. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, janky elevator again. And yes, you can see the platform is bouncing up and down on the rope. Yeah, yeah, that's... that's a lot of jank. Even for me. <laughs> and I almost went off the edge there. Mosquito! Not gonna bother with that one. Not gonna bother with any of them. If I can help it. Just the ones that I really have to. This one, if I don't kill it, is going to bother me when I try to climb the ladder here. Right. Up one more ladder. Okay, this is where we died. Are my souls here? Yes, they are. Thank you. To. Oh, it moves this time around. Oh, I got behind her. Yeah! <laughs> we'll have none of that. And now you. Yes, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you want to come dance with me. Ooh. That attack went right through me. I don't know where those invulnerability frames came from, but I appreciate them. <laughs> I appreciate them very much. 
Hello. Are you the last one? You better be the last one. You die! <laughs> and I get a dung pie. Yes, that is literally poop. Which causes toxic if you throw it at um, enemies. But it also causes toxic to yourself if you're not careful. So, yeah. And look! We're in a familiar place. The Valley of Drinks. Yes. The drakes, the, the, that was the first thing that killed me in this game. And there's the shield that I never picked up. Actually, I just want to do some maths in my head for a moment. I don't have any. I only have black fire bombs. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to buy fire bombs. And then I'll be back this way to get that other item. All right. Let's see, Depair. we go down, and remember how we got the key to the new Launder Ruins? That's the game giving you a little misdirection, because you get the key, and the key unlocks a uh, certain door. It's off in the distance somewhere, but yeah, unlocks a... Uh, a door somewhere in that very darkened city that's full of ghosts <laughs> and let's see oh he's not here yet okay that's cool that is uh, so very cool I'll take the ass talk don't mind me actually mind me <laughs> I killed the hollow it was just crying in the corner. As is this one. No crying! <laughs> and I should stop hitting this sword on the wall because... It's got very low durability as it is and... Um, it's already probably about to break. So, yeah. Now, we shall take this elevator all the way up to Fire Lake Shrine. And I'll give the uh, Firekeeper soul to the Firekeeper here to improve my uh, Estus flask. After all, Estus is bestus. Okay, our night friend is gone and she, she is gone and there's items. It's her clothes. And the black eye orb. <laughs> and if we try <laughs> if we examine the hole, the little cubby where she used to live, she's <laughs> it just says dead. <laughs> she's dead. And since the night person that was sitting here is gone, something tells me he had something to do with it. Let's have a look at the description of the Black Eye Orb. Mystical Orb found on a Keeper's corpse. Invade the world of the murder of a Firekeeper to defeat the perpetrator and reclaim the soul of the Firekeeper. The Black Eye keeps constant watch on the City of Gods and Orlando. Oh, So... The night person killed the firekeeper, and now the bonfire is gone. Firekeeper is firekeeper is absent. Cannot light bonfire. So now what? Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now we have a new problem. We do. It's noisy. It snores, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter. Breath? <laughs> what do you want about? Damn. That stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. Do you need to do something about what? Oh, 
Maybe. What are you going to do? Maybe. <laughs> what are you going to do? Alright. Oh, hello. You're new. <laughs> It moves its mouth it as it talks. <laughs> well of I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frank, close friend of the great Lord Wind, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate That's your me. fate. Do you elucidate my fate then. Enlightenment? Yeah, well, sure. Very why not. well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead. Your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Okay, so two things are now pointing us at Anor Londo. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? And what do you do? Well, if I feed you green titanite shards, what do I get? Oh, just regular titanite shards. Okay. So if I feed you a chunk, do I get large titanite shards? Yes, yes I do. Nice. Oh, I can feed him another chunk and get more large titanite uh, shards to upgrade my sword. Yes. I'm gonna keep the last chunk, actually. And I can feed him items. And he will give me souls if I feed him the items. So, he's the first character in the game that will actually buy our items. <laughs> How about that? You can't give him swords, obviously, because, you know. Uh, not swords. Um, you can give him swords, absolutely. Keys. You can't give him keys or spells. The keys I get. It's like, you don't want to, you know, lock yourself out of the rest of the game, so don't be silly. Okay, so we can sell him stuff. Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of tracks. Ah. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Hmm. Okay, so sends fun house to get to Enor Londo. Yes. Okay, thank you. Farewell, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. Thank you. The primordial serpent, King Seeker Front. <laughs> oh look, it's the uh, pyromancer that we saved. Oh, so you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancer. So I can use the magnets with a bit of care. Usually. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I can share the spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and unless you find the magics unsavory. And this is the first trick question of the game because with the other ones, uh, the way to continue, like the quest or the progression of uh, any given NPC, you have to say yes. With this one, you need to say no. Yeah, wonderful. I'm <laughs> sure that. You know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. It's yeah, like, no, I don't find magic in savory. I like magic. Give me magic. Magic, magic, magic. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. <laughs> well, let's get started right now. I'm a fully fledged pyromancer. Despite me have uh, already buying some pyromancers from the great Quailan of Isolith. Sure. <laughs> That said, though, he does have some very nice pyromancies like Iron Flesh and Flesh Sweat. Iron Flesh makes you very, very heavy, but uh, it makes you very, very resistant to all types of damage and gives you a ton of poise. Flesh Sweat basically um, super activates your uh, sweat glands and makes you more resistant to fire. Because that's how it works. <laughs> That's not how it works, kids. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, actually, I'm just going to use a couple of hard souls here because... 
That does give me enough. Purchase. Fire orb. Yes. I bought all of his pyromancies. All of them. And I can enhance my pyromancy flame to plus one. And to plus two. And then I don't have enough money to enhance it to plus three, but whatevs. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. No shit. <laughs> then channeled it, just as our ancestors did. The pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand why. Oh, a swamp is a part of nature. Who'd have thunk it? Uh... <laughs> Pyromancy has a, it messes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory. Which Stop is eating pyromancers, then. Along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> that's a bit sad, dude. That that the that's a bit sad. Flame is, is a part of his own body. The flame develops right along with his skill. When I gave you that flame, I gave you a part of myself. Kinky. Please take good care of him. <laughs> no promises. The pyromancer's flame. Please. Right. Okay. Goodbye then. So this is one of the people we saved. Where's the other person? We saved. There you are. Oh hello. Orbeck of Vin Vinheim. Circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Yes, we did. Oh hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. Oh, right. Remember when I said I was too dumb to learn sorceries? Like, this dude just said it by not saying it. Uh, intelligence, nine. Yeah. You need to have at least ten. And if you have ten, then he'll sell you some sorceries. But I don't. So, ah. Right. He wants to do something about... The stench that's coming from King Se uh, Kingseeker's Framp's mouth, apparently. Because he's got really bad breath. And that is a big mouth, so there would be a lot of it. He's just chilling. Um, where's the cleric dude? He's gone. Oh, I guess those people that he was waiting for have um, been. Alright, I guess he's not here either. Well... Oh. That's... That's progress for you. <laughs> In any case, the way to Sen's Fortress, of course, uh, we've already unlocked, is through here. Via the church, where we rang the first Belt of Awakening. After we get the Lord Vessel and uh, we learn to teleport between bonfires, I'll start doing some of the side stuff. Until then, it's best just to stay on course, just because, yeah, it's a bit annoying. Ooh, actually. See if I can tango with one of these folks. Can I kill them in one hit now? Yes, I can. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. You too. Toodles. Still managed to land a hit, uh, hit on me, so... Good job, him. Alright. So, one hit KO, although this sword will be breaking most likely at some point right here in Sen's Fortress. Well, this isn't Sen's Fortress yet. But we're close. We're so very close. And I could try to do the glitch to get in the door without doing a thing, but it's kind of pointless now because I've already opened it. I rang both bells of awakening, so... Yeah, no, no need. Actually, I should go and upgrade my sword. I do still have some hard souls left, and uh, the other sword, the one that I can actually repair, and won't break anytime soon... Um... Yeah, I, I should upgrade that. Andre! He's Andre. Andre of Astora. Neither of us wants to see you go hollow. <laughs> 
Six thousand souls should be enough. Let's see, a reinforced weapon. Claymore, plus seven goes to plus eight. From plus eight to plus nine. And god damn it, I'm one large titanite short. <laughs> uh, oh, I got another demon great machete when I killed the other capra demon down um, near the lava. Near Isola. Hmm. It's a very weak sword. Yes, it does cause bleeding damage, but it's a very weak sword. <laughs> and I don't have the two twinkling titanites to um, do the thing. And I'm not about to start uh, upgrading armor just yet, because this isn't the armor that I want to be wearing, so... Yeah. I'm not gonna. What you gonna do about it? Uh, can I purchase something? Oh, just regular Titanite. And the Crest of Artorias! For 20,000 souls? What the hell, man? No, 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 no. We shall have none of that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh man, I could have had a. Mm, could have had it up to plus 10. Or plus 9 at least. Because of one large night night. Let's see. Du -du -du -du. Yep, plus 10. Actually, if I equip this. Um. Is the damage better? Yes, the physical damage is better. Apparently so is the scaling damage. <gasps> it's already better! How about that? <laughs> oh, that's really nice, actually. That's really, really nice. Which means... Yep. And... This, uh, Nori's playing uh, Skyrim and, uh, shouting at Lydia. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> Uh, restore my huge manatees. Okay, so now that we can carry um, a lot more weight because the claymore isn't as heavy, let's find ourselves a look, shall we? Let's see. Better physical defense, worse just about everything else. But it is better physical defense. How about you? The night leggings. Better physical defense. And worse just about everything else. And I'll, s I'll be fat rolling if I equip those. That's not. Armor. Right. We do have the crimson robe. And the gold hem black cloak. And where's the night armor? 37. Oh, that's worse than my armor, than the one I'm currently wearing. These are all worse, obviously. Uh, this one's got b better magic defense, the dingy robe. A lot better magic defense from the gold hem cloak. Yeah, I guess we're already wearing the best armor we possibly could. Night armor is lighter. Which would probably let us equip the full knight set. Is a possibility. And the gargoyle helm has a lot of all of the defenses, but the helm of the wise is better. It's got better curse resist, too. Well, it's better for physical damage, anyway. You know what? I think this is good. Wanderer's uh, boots, the knight uh, gloves, the uh, armor of the explorer. And a gargoyle helmet. I think we're ready for Sense Fortress. Let's not forget the plus nine sword, shall we? <laughs> Could have been plus ten. Oh, God. I, 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 I wanted to save that last... Um, that last chunk. Instead of feeding it to Frampt. But that didn't work so well. And wouldn't you look at that. Sense Fortress is open. And the Onion Knight is gone. <gasps> Ominous. Well, 
ominous or not, it is that time. I think it was a uh, productive stream. We helped someone defeat Quilag. Uh, went down to very, very near uh, the bunch of Capra demons near Isolith. Didn't trigger the spa, uh, the uh, the invader ghost thingy, which was annoying. Still, managed to make our way back to Fireling Shrine, discovered that the Firekeeper was killed. King Se uh, Seeker Frampt is now where the pool of water used to be. And he told us that we need to get through Sen's Fortress in order to get to Anor uh, Anor Londo, Or as it's otherwise known, the Anal Rodeo. Uh, <laughs> that's still funny. Uh, the, um, and uh, we're right here at the entrance to Sen's Funhouse. So join me next time, will you? For... Well, if you think uh, dying twice very stupidly uh, on the way here was bad enough, wait until you see what happens to me here. Praise the sun. And goodbye. <laughs>